people caring for people. Compassion. That's the foundation Gotham was built on. And I have proudly built Golf Corp on that same foundation. That's why we're called the People Company. Thank you so much. Please. Mr. Boyle seems to be after your title as Gotham's biggest philanthropic industrialist. Gotham needs more people like him. Bruce! Hey. <laughs> I am blown away by your support. It's well deserved. You're going to change the world, Ferris. Hey, we'll change it together, right? Pardon me, Mr. Boyle. The press is waiting well, this way, please. I'd say the future is looking hmm. very, very bright for Gotham. Now, it's almost midnight, and you all know what that means. Let's get this New Year's Eve party going with the... Whew. Forget to pay your heating bill, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't worth something. been through worse. These are Penguin's men. What do they want with Ferris? I'm not sure. They're being led by someone in a mechanized suit. I need to find Ferris before they do. Well, you're no use to us dressed like that. You need to put on your other suit. The closest entrance to the Batcave is in the study. There's Bruce. He'll help us. Bruce. Bruce, do you have a minute? Someone said an iceberg just appeared. <laughs> Exploded in the ballroom. I need details. What happened? Who do you think? Where's Ferris? He never made it to the interview. Wait, you're not going out there alone, are you? Stay with Alfred. He'll keep you safe. With these guests about, perhaps you should look for that uh, <clears throat> item in the wine cellar. Right. Be careful passing through the library, sir. Penguin's men have infiltrated the entire manor. You keep out of harm's way. No more heroics. These animals don't frighten me. Alfred. You'd better get to the wine cellar before I have to take on Penguin's entire gang myself. Those men are armed. I'm going to have to take them down quietly if I don't want to get shot. Don't forget, I called dibs on those perks. I'm taking him before he torches. Strike! Penguin sentence is 
Come out of that cave more than once a week, you'd know that the bat cave entrance is in the wine cellar's tasting room. Look for the statue. Watch yourself in that tunnel, sir. It's still suffering from the damage our visitor did on Christmas Eve. donning your extreme environment suit. The XE suit? It's not ready for deployment. Oh dear. I hear helicopters. More penguin brutes. Do hurry. I don't have time to prep the XE suit for deployment. I'll need Alfred to put the finishing touches on it. to the manor and find Ferris before Penguin's men do. Sir, before you ask, the formula we used for your glue grenades was unstable. What was left after Christmas Eve was degraded into dust. South wings, but hey, it's the butler. Alfred. Alfred.
signal from Alfred. I'd better find another way into the library. Silly jade statue, then, and I'm sure your employer will enjoy the hundreds of dollars it will garner on the black market. Hey, old timer, I don't need one. Oh, dear. You burnt this one? Oh, no! No! I think someone. Get me down! Get me. Get me. people to safety, but the Wayne Crest is blocking the exit. This way. That was amazing. You just picked those goons apart. Shh, quiet. 
got Ferris Boyle in the next room. I... I think they're going to kill him. Sir, are you all right? Thanks to you, the hero of Christmas Eve come to rescue us from the... Can I trust you'll get these people to safety? Um, of course. Now that you've dealt with most of these hooligans... You should restore power to your sprinkler system to deal with these fires. Not to worry. I won't allow Wayne Manor to burn to the ground. Thank you for the rescue. You know, you really should do an exclusive with me. The people want to know what you're all about. I've got more important things to do. This is important. You've become a hot issue for this city. You need to state for the record what you're trying to accomplish. My actions state that loud and clear. isn't the only one with a cryogenic weapon. This door is frozen shut. I'll need to enter the ballroom through the balcony. Mission accomplished in my book. I too. Where is he taking Ferris? I, 
I don't know. I promise. Do you have any idea how many of your friends I sent to the hospital on Christmas Eve? Look, one of Penguin's dealers. He's doling out the weapons Freeze gave us. He must know. We were supposed to meet up in South Gotham. You can meet up in the emergency room instead. someone like Ferris Boyle. It's sickening. I know you'll bring him to justice, sir. I'll see this one wheeled into Blackgate on a gurney. A2 dispatch, confirming that code 3. Looks like these anarchy fanatics are taking advantage of the lack of police presence down here. Roger, A2. Continue to monitor. Do not engage without backup. <laughs> no chance of that. I should deal with those anarchy followers. But first, I need to track down Penguin's dealer and find out where Freeze has taken Ferris. us. Penguin's dealer is the key to finding Freeze. I should scan this area for clues that might tell me where he went. Whatever this substance is, it's slowly shutting his systems down, putting him into cryostasis. I won't be able to safely remove him from the ice without the thermal gloves built into the XE suit. The officer just chanced upon Penguin's men. He wasn't equipped to deal with this cryotech, but the cryo gun was leaking. If I hurry, this trail will lead me right to Penguin's men. Then I can make them tell me where this tech came from. Alfred, Penguin's men are using cryogenic weapons to encase innocent people in ice. I'm going to need the thermal gloves and the XC suit to break them free. I'll get to work immediately, sir. 
Any idea where these weapons are coming from? I'll get that answer when I catch up with Penguin's dealer. Freeze. You think I know? You plan on celebrating the new year in traction? Okay, okay. He, he made a deal with Penguin. Weapons in exchange for some stiff. Uh, uh, Ferris Boyle. He's in Gothcorp last I saw. You're lying. Gothcorp doesn't make weapons. What? No, I... Uh, Gothcorp, I swear. Look, I've got the entry codes. I'll take those. Doesn't make sense. Gothcorp involved in weapons tech. There's got to be more to this. I wonder how much it's gonna cost to clean up this mess. Dispatch 5 5. We got no contact with units on the bridge.
Sure thing, boss. What are you going to do with me? You? <laughs> Assuming your friend keeps cooperating, I'm sure. <laughs> Those men were armed. How'd you do that? Where are they taking Ferris? Mr. Boyle? They, uh, they're heading to the propellant research wing. These guys have been raiding the whole facility. Do you have the codes to this security door? No, I don't have clearance. But my boss does. A bunch of them took him to the organics lab, through the lobby. I'll make sure they don't hurt your boss. Get yourself to safety. So shy all of a sudden, huh? What happened to that spirit of sharing? I... I'm cooperating! I'm cooperating! I know, I know, but we all got jobs, see? And, and my job... If I don't think you're telling me the truth. I told you there are no weapons here. It's just plants, tissue research. Yeah, you said. Then, you believe me? You know what? I do. I do believe you. But to be honest, <laughs> I just really love my job. Oh, God.
saw you on GNN. You just saved my life. You have codes I need to access the propellant research wing. I do. Here. Take them. You're going to save Mr. Boyle, right? It's not safe inside Gothcorp. You need to get out of here. Don't worry. I won't be hanging around. And, uh, thanks, you know? Not just for me. For Gotham.
give me boil or I'll freeze this entire room. Oh, I know you won't. Boyle's got the coat you need. And I ain't giving him up. Let's all get what he's giving you. What's behind this door is of no interest to you. What I think you need is the weapon I would throw. I know you're holding out on me. This will not end well. Oh, oh, I think you're confused about what the tactics Why does he need Boyle? Boyle's got codes he needs to access some kind of super weapon. And now you let him have it! That ice is the only thing saving you from getting the beating you deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you ought to save our friend Mr. Boyle, yeah? But you'll never break through this ice. Gothorp has a device. It's uh, uh, like a drill. A cryo drill. Tell me where it is. I had my men bring all our uh, acquisitions to the My Alibi nightclub. For safekeeping, of course. Then you better hope your men are still at my alibi. If I want to break through this barrier of ice, I better get to the My Alibi nightclub before Penguin's men decide to relocate. Emergency. Propellant research wing compromised. Warning. Critical failure in propellant research wing. Please evacuate. Without the XE suit, I'd never survive in that cloud of cryo vapor. Thanks for getting me out of there. What are you gonna do now? After I've recovered the cryo drill, I'm coming back here to save Ferris. But isn't Freeze gonna try to stop you? With any luck. Oh, no. Alfred, what's the status of the XC suit? I've just finished loading it into a drop container. Good news. 
I'm on my way to my alibi to recover a stolen cryogenic drill. Have the Batwing drop it there. It's on its way. Men outside my alibi. I suggest you secure the area before I initiate. Thermal gloves should help you deal with most ice you encounter, sir, and the suit will provide protection from cold and cryo vapor. I just hope its bulk won't slow you down. The honeycomb structure insulates against extreme cold without increasing weight. It won't slow me down a bit. I can use a thermocharged batarang to bring that ice down on top of those thugs. Thermocharge a batarang. Use it to knock out that frozen security lock. said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time.
Sir, your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill. Thanks, Alfred. I'm on it. Penguin says to wait for his call. He's setting something up for a fire. Yeah, but he ain't called. You don't think... I mean, you don't think Freeze would turn it. I wouldn't doubt it. The guy ain't human. He looks at everything like it's his next meal. I know. And those eyes, goggles, whatever. Wow. It gives me... well, chills. Are you too quivering? Look out! He's got to be close. Find him already!
Alfred. I've assembled the cryo drill, but it requires some kind of superconducting fluid to operate. Ah, here it is, sir. An organic supercoolant used in an experimental lab run by one Victor Freeze. As in Mr. Freeze. It seems too great a coincidence to ignore. It says here that Ferris had Mr. Freeze's lab shut down. If he's a disgruntled employee out for revenge, then this is about more than just stealing weapons tech. Now, Freeze's lab is under quarantine. Some kind of accident. I'm on my way back to Gothcorp now.
I'll need to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. I need to disable those two power conduits to stop that reactor leak. Then I need to ventilate the room of cryovapor. to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. There's more going on here than a simple accident. This security guard's skin is the same blue coloration as freezing. I should set up a crime scene. Data analysis indicates that he died from a heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating.
This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. The trail ends here. I should scan for more evidence. Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. These palm prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super-cooled survival suit. Extreme pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryovapors from the resulting explosion. The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryo cannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. The cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard, but the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea, but this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryo weapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. The supercoolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. Send Gordon the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crimes. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gotham. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of Gothcorp. 
That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gun, eh? I am. But not for Victor. You know what I'm gonna do when I get out of here? I'm gonna have candy pour me a nice hot bath. And then I'm gonna drown you in it! Uh, I'm trying, boss. This ice is tough. Punch him in the face! You're not gonna let me die here now, are you? Are you? And so will the police. Boyle will face judgment for his crimes. It, it was an accident! You don't know what you're talking about! What? Nothing matters, do you understand? Nothing but my Nora! You've endangered lives all over this city. Nora would never have wanted this. No. She wants us to live a long life in the warmth of the sun. Her hand in mine. And because of him, she'll only feel the icy touch of a man whose emotions run as cold as the blood in his veins. Where are all the rest of you? Get in here and honor our bargain. Sir, you can overload those cryogenerators using your thermal gloves. Look for the control panel. Boy, all of us, none of this violence would have been necessary. There he is! Patience. 
Find the source of that noise. Send the offense. Sir, you need to find the control panels for those cryogenerators and disable them. See how well you do when the air freezes in your lungs.
how the Batman rewards incompetence. You want to stop me? Then come out of the shadows. That room is filled with ice formations, Master Bruce. I suggest you use them to your advantage. Where are you? Man, you have been more careful. I need a stretcher for this one. Now I give me a damn you, old Batman, for forcing my hand. You can't just walk in here and do this. What do you think?
Damn you, Batman, for forcing my hand. Where are you? You have forced me to do this. The child's talk, Batman. Your technology is inferior, Batman. I know you're up there. How did he escape? Where are you? You lost your resolve. Mine remains as strong. Underneath him, I can take him from below. Cryogenic containment failing. Prime subject Nora Freeze in danger. Just him and the bat. shouldn't have stuck your nose in my business. And here I thought I was going to have a problem explaining what happened in your lab. I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. 
Cryogenic containment failing. And that just leaves you. Please, you can save her. You just have to bypass the fire. Oh, Victor! She's done! Oh, but I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go! No! Oh. No. <sighs> 